the cabin I have up north is very remote. We turn 90 degrees off Route 3 about uh, 12 miles from the Canadian border and it's all woods. Uh, tall, tall pine trees and very quiet. Uh, the first thing you notice is there's a stream off to the left. We spend days where we just walk down Perry Stream to where it gets into the Connecticut River with the dogs. Uh, there's one or two other cabins on this lane, Mercer Lane, uh, but John is the last one on the left. When you first meet Chief, his energy is incredible. He has a smile, he's positive, his eyes sparkle, he's upbeat, and as he very quickly tells you why he is where he is, he is living with a traumatic brain injury. Traumatic brain injury is, is the signature injury that's coming back from, from Iraq, Afghanistan. He is the first one to say, I have a post-traumatic stress disorder. I have a traumatic brain injury. I was wounded November 15th of 2004 at 0705 in the morning. I will never forget that. Um, in a half a second, I saw more violence than I have in my entire life. Boom. Chief opened up his home, his retreat in the woods that was his place to heal, and he has invited other veterans into it. When you look at the brochure and the materials about his camp, it doesn't say that there's a counselor there. It doesn't say you can get physical therapy, that you can get help, that you can talk to a VA representative. It says you can fish and you can relax. It's a place where they not only can fish and hunt um, and shoot on our, our rifle range, it's a place where they can think about where they're at, look at other veterans maybe and see where I need to go, and look back to on where I've been. It doesn't present itself in any type of therapy form. It's simply for veterans to come together. That was my sanctuary up there. That's where I went. My wife and I would go. And then I started bringing guys up and these guys melt right in with me. So he created this project out of his own experience and his awareness that veterans depend on each other. These things we're doing up there with the guys are better than any counseling session you could get from a professional. Veterans want to hear from other vets. The camp that the Chief has put together is an amazing gift to the North Country, to our veterans. It really does fill a need. Every single time one of these young guys shows up, I'm, I'm first worried that he won't settle in, and then after I see he has, the, the excitement just keeps building. It's, uh, it's, it's an exciting place to be, to see veterans coming together and uh, sharing with each other. One of the, the best examples I have of what, I, what we're doing up there I was fishing with a young man that is wounded similar to myself, in a lot of pain. We were in the middle of the stream, butt deep in rapids, and he looked over at me and he goes, Chief, I'm not wounded today. I'm okay. That one statement will carry me the rest of my life. If I do nothing else, I helped him. And uh, that's, that's the whole thing. He wasn't wounded that day. He didn't have to deal with anything. He could just go fishing. Not about catching fish.